And the Ministry of Finance has released 5 billion Ghana cities to the receiver of the defunct savings and loans and microfinance companies, as well as the official liquidator of the microcredit companies through Consolidated Bank Ghana. Now, the amount is in a combination of cash and bonds to fully settle all validated claims due depositors of failed specialized deposit taking institutions. This intervention will provide liquidity and guarantee the funds of individuals, businesses, as well as financial institutions that have been locked up in these defunct financial institutions pending the completion of the receivership exercise. Now, with this intervention, all depositors will now be paid in full. It will be recalled that the ministry initially provided funds for the receiver to settle validated depositor claims of the defunct SDIs of up to 20,000 Ghana cities per depositor with the understanding that uh, the remaining validated claims would be settled as and when value was realized from the sale of the assets and the defunct institutions. Now, all depositors affected should note that the receiver and CBG will provide them with a detailed plan as well as procedures to fully settle all outstanding depositor claims in cash and fixed instruments once the claims have been validated in line with the resolution process. Again, with this intervention, government will have so far spent about 17.7 .7 billion Ghana cities on the resolution process, 11.65 billion Ghana cities for the banking sector and 6.1 billion Ghana cities on the specialized deposit taking institutions and microfinance institutions.